G'day guys, Greg here. Well, you know the other day I went to the Coles Express to try the pizza pie and the Tabasco chicken pie? Now, they only had the Tabasco chicken pie left, so I went again today and... Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. The Coles Express limited edition pizza pie. It's 200 grams worth, which is why I'm not weighing it with my scales. Plus, I don't bring them everywhere. I'm not the sort of person you think I am. But I was just talking to the guy in the shop there and I was saying, oh yeah, I had the chicken pie the other day. And he goes, oh yeah, this one's much better. I've had a few of them. And I said, right, yeah, well, I'll grab one. And he goes, did you grab yourself some sauce? Yeah, free sauce too at Carl's Express. But anyway, let's take it out of the wrapper and see what it looks like. Alrighty, well, let's suss this out. Now, when I was talking to the guy, he goes, just be careful, it's got lots of sauce on it, which is why I threw my old shirt on today. But that's what it looks like. I don't know what this is. Must be a bit of crust that have sort of come off it, but, well, that hasn't got the pie cover on it, has it? It's just a, a pie base, pretty much, with a pizza filling. Let's get rid of this crumminess. So it looks like a cheesy top on it. And oh boy, yep, that is saucy. Another saucy pie. Oh yeah, have a look at that, folks. Is that something you want to be spilling all over your shirt? If so, this could be the pie for you. All right, well, I've thrown the towel down and I've got my old shirt on today. So, well, that's what it looks like. It's uh, it's an interesting looking pie, isn't it? I've never seen one that looks quite like that. And this crust. Oh, if you're a person whose teeth aren't the strongest in the world, this might not be the pie for you. At least the crust isn't. It's pretty hard indeed. But this uh, filling here, let's grab the fork. Hmm. It's got chunks of stuff in there. Don't know what though. Hmm. Well, my first impression is not very exciting. But here, I think that's a bit of sausage and I think it says that it's got bacon in it too. Don't quote me on that, but well, maybe we'll find out. But that first taste, quite bland. And, well, I just feel very disappointed so far, but who knows, it might taste awesome altogether. Well, awesome isn't the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> Plain, boring and average is the adjectives my tongue's telling my brain. I mean, just look at it. Does that look anything like a pizza to you? It just looks like a can of soup someone's dumped inside a bit of pastry and then shoved in the oven to make the pastry too hard to even eat. I mean, what sort of pie is like runny and gooey and sloppy that falls all over the place? A Coles Express pie. That's what I've learned from the two pies I've had. Maybe their meat pies aren't as bad, but... Mate, this is just average. That pizza sauce is pretty average, and it does have a few chunks of things in there, which, well, I can't even taste or tell exactly what they are. I think there's some bacon in there. I, was there cabanossi? I don't know. Now, the pizza sauce that they're using in this is just really sort of boring, and it's bland, and no, it's just dripped everywhere, and oh boy. If you serve this up to Gordon Ramsay, he would absolutely flip his lid, I tell you. He would be screaming that there's no seasoning. And it's funny, you know, I, I said that something didn't have seasoning the other day and people were getting up me in the comments saying, that's because you're used to adding salt to everything. Which is a complete and utter lie because I never add salt to hardly anything. But the fact is some things need salt and this is one of them. Maybe it could do with some tomato sauce. Please don't go everywhere. Well, at least that didn't. Well, the sauce is as runny as the pie, too. That actually helped. <laughs> now, you can sort of see how much cheese is on there, which is about two tenths of sweet F.A., but 
Mate, this is just really boring. It's really average. I drive all the way to a different cell to find it, and I guess that's an hour out of my life that I'm never getting back. So if I was to score this out of 10, which I'm going to, <laughs> I'd give this a ah, three and a half out of 10. I can't believe it that I actually preferred that chicken and Tabasco pie. <laughs> I had real high hopes for this one too. I thought it was gonna be awesome, but it is just bland, it's boring, the pastry's too hard, the fillings are flavorless. The guy inside seemed to prefer it over the other one, but I certainly don't. And it's as messy as anything. I'm gonna spend another hour cleaning out the inside of my car from all the stuff that's dripped on it. Well, there's the Coles Express pizza pie. Have I convinced you to go and get one? Or have I just saved you $4.50? And by the way, thanks to my really special Patreon, Justin Kamlowski, it's because of you I can afford to keep making these videos. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time I eat something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the review